Welcome to the K-12 Kindergarten Literature Read Aloud of Spider and Turtle and Good Manners. We'll be reading from the Read Aloud Treasury. Let's go to the table of contents first to find our story. We can use the table of contents to find Spider and Turtle and Good Manners is on page 94. Before we begin our story, let's talk about the vocabulary words for this read aloud. The words are blush, creek, dainty, manners, spell, and surface. Listen for these vocabulary words during the reading. Let's begin. T Turtle had crawled all day long for many miles. He was hungry and thirsty when he, the sun started to set. Then he smelled something good. Down a hill, he could see Spider's web and his camp. Spider was cooking 10 potatoes in his fire. The smell made Turtle hungry. He crawled as fast as he could to Spider's camp. Hello, Anasai, he said. Anasai was the name of the spider. Anasai said, hello, turtle. What do you want? I'm busy and ready to have my supper. Turtle said, I am so hungry. Can you share your potatoes with me? Of course, said Anasai. But he really wanted to keep all his potatoes for himself. On the outside, he smiled. Inside, he kept thinking and thinking. Turtle rolled a potato out of the fire. Anasai, the spider, cleared his throat. Ahem, he said. I'm glad to share, but I believe in good manners. I see that the toenails on your feet are dirty. We spiders do not like our guests to eat with dirty nails. We are delicate like our webs, and we have dainty manners. Please go to the creek to wash first. Turtle felt bad. I'm sorry, Anasai, he said. You are right. Guests should show good manners when they accept free food. Sp Spider pointed to one with one of his eight legs. There's a little creek not far away, he said. You can wash over there. And if you don't mind, I'll begin eating while I'm waiting for you to come back. Turtle crawled to the creek as fast as he could. He couldn't go too fast because he was a turtle. Meanwhile, Spider began eating. He ate five potatoes before Turtle came back. I've washed my toenails now, said Turtle. Then he rolled a potato out of the fire. Ahem, said Spider. Your feet still look dirty to me. Spider was right. Turtle's toenails had gotten dirt in them. Again, he crawled back from the creek. Turtle blushed and went back to wash again in the creek. When Turtle returned, Spider had eaten four more potatoes. Turtle reached for the last one. Ahem, ahem, said the spider. You don't know how to clean your toenails well. They are still dirty. Please wash them again. Ashamed, Turtle crawled away to wash again. Spider ate up the last potato. Then Turtle came back. Spidle, spider burped loudly. Well, my friend, you have taken so long to clean up that there are no potatoes left. Turtle looked straight into Spider's eyes. You have tricked me, he said. You began by offering to share your food with me and when I was hungry. So out of good manners, I will make you the same offer if you ever come to my house. Still, I will remember that your good manners hid a trick. Spider laughed and Turtle crawled away. Many months passed. For a while, Spider caught many good things to eat in his web, but soon there came a long spell with no rain. Spider was going hungry. He thought about Turtle's offer to share his food. Turtle lives by a river. Even during a dry spell, it will still be a little bit wet and there will be good things to eat. I'll visit him. 
Spider put on his coat and ran on his eight legs to the river where Turtle lived. There he saw Turtle ready to slide into the water. Hello, Turtle. I was in the neighborhood, said Spider. Well, Anansi, it's been a long time since I've seen you. Every time my stomach has growled, I have thought of you. But it is not growling tonight, because I have a nice meal planned at the bottom of the river where I live. Please dive down to join me. Then Turtle slid into the river. Oh, thank you, said Spider. He tried to dive down to follow Turtle to the bottom, but a spider is so light he kept rising to the top like a bubble. Spider wondered how to get to the bottom. He saw some gleaming pebbles on the river bank. Aha, he thought, to sink. I'll fill eight pockets on my coat with pebbles. To rise, I'll take the pebbles out. I can put the turtle's food in my pockets. Spider picked up eight pebbles, one for each leg. He put them in his eight pockets on his eight sleeves. Then he jumped into the river and sank to the bottom. He found Turtle at his table eating his dinner. Spider started to grab dinner with his two front legs. Turtle stopped him. You said spiders were dainty and delicate in their manners, said Turtle. I took off my coat for dinner, so should you. If you leave it on, it looks like you want to eat and run. We turtles think it's bad manners. We don't eat and run because we don't run. I hope you will show me good manners since I am sharing my food with you. Spider was caught. He took off his coat, leg by leg by leg, leg by leg by leg. As soon as the coat was all the way off, it dropped with the sound of eight pebbles. Banging pebbles, Spider popped up to the surface like a bubble. He grabbed a reed with two of his legs. He looked back down into the water. Turtle was laughing and enjoying as his big meal all by himself. The moral of the story is that good manners should help you be good, not bad. The Thank you for reading with me out of the K-12 Read Aloud Treasure. All of you K-12 students and learning coaches out there, be sure to favorite this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.